and Lawrence Deegan as well in the 64. Ten starters for tonight's Queensland. Lightning sprint title, a pace car is in. The lights are out. I would not have expected to see Kurt Wilson on the front row, but he is. We are green off turn four for 25 laps to decide the Q1 in the lightning sprint. Sean Iacono gets the jump on Wilson. Wilson now looks to come back down underneath and take Iacono, but he shuts the door. Jack Carnell sits back there in third, followed by Ali Moore. Baldwin's gone up to the top side of the racetrack. He's got in the grease a little bit on the way into one and just had to get off. That's allowed James Elliott through and up into fifth position at the moment. Baldwin six. And we go back to Josh Gale. Then it's uh, Aaron Sell, Liam Niblock, Laurie Deegan. Harley Graham, unfortunately, a non-starter in this A main. So heartbreak for Harley Graham tonight. He was looking good, but unfortunately not starting this A main. Icono on the gas. Wilson settles in the second spot. He could do nothing about Iacono driving away from before. And uh, Sean's already opened up a couple of car lengths on Wilson as there's 16 laps left to run in this A main. Jack Carnell back there in third, followed by James Elliott. Ali Moore in fifth, followed by Darren Baldwin. Then we go back to Aaron Seller, Liam Niblock. Josh Gale at the tail of the field. Top. Liam Niblock brings the West Corp Racing 81 machine on the infield, unfortunately. And you can see, whoa, look out, cars everywhere on the back straightaway here. Darren Baldwin involved along with Josh Gale. I think that might be Laurie Deegan in the 64 machine. Three, that's Wilson goes with him. And this time, Wilson's only a car length off the 21. Although Oyakono opens up a little bit of a gap through one and two. He goes wide, opens the door for Wilson. They're side by side out of turn four. Oyakono, Wilson's on the bottom of the racetrack. Oyakono's up on the high side. And he gets the drive around the top. Hangs on to the race lead. Wilson's still back there in second. Jack Carnell, James Elliott, Ali Moore, Aaron Seller. Then we go back to Laurie Deegan and Josh Gale at the tail of the field. Hasn't lost any ground. He can't pass before the witch's hat, but he can definitely tap him on the tail tank. And that's almost what Kurt Wilson did. Wilson hasn't let Iacono get away this time at the restart. Carnell back there in third. Elliott's fourth. Now looking. Oh, Seller. Almost got into the fence up there in turn four. Down the back straight and Kurt Wilson gets Iacono through one and two. Iacono slowing down. Wilson's going up to the top side of the racetrack trying to push that cushion up. Kurt Wilson has found the speed on the top side. And Wilson now is starting to clear out from Iacono. I think Iacono might have a problem because James Elliott's about to take second place away from him. It sounds like the car of Iacono has gone off on the three cylinders. Definitely sounds a bit crook, does the 21 machine. In fact, he now gets passed by Jack Carnell for third. Whatever's wrong with that car has suddenly come back to life. And it's, it's, it's uh, whatever the issue is, it's, playing havoc with uh, Iacono, but never mind that, Kurt Wilson is your race leader. Through turn four, he will get the white flag and one to go. James Elliott's second, Carnell's third, Ali Moore's in fourth, Aaron Seller, Laurie Deegan, and unfortunately, Sean Iacono gets lapped by our leader. Check it, flag waves, and Kurt Wilson goes back to back for the Queensland title in the lightning sprints. Sec James Elliott will be over the moon, Macca, with second position. And uh, full credit to Jack Carnell on third as well. So good job from, uh, from all the runners to finish that 25 laps. Certainly very testing at the end. Certainly was as our Queensland champion grabs the flag 
He'll head around in the opposite direction. Come on up here in the little grandstand in turn number four. Put your hands together for your Queensland champ, Kurt Wilson. Up at the black flag bar, make some noise.